Welcome to Cooking with Tamara. Let's try something new. We're gonna make baked spaghetti. Let's get started. The meat's all brown now. And this, what you saw me using, I'll get it closer. There you go. That's from Pampered Chef. It's a meat breaker upper. How about that? I'll figure it out. We'll put it, I'll put it the description in the description box. All right, see, meat's all done. So now, we're going to, oh yeah, and I went ahead and started the water. The water's getting ready to start boiling, okay, for our noodles. All right, so now I'm going to add that spaghetti sauce that you saw in the beginning. And I bought, this is my first time trying this. I hope you can read that. It looks backwards to me. Pegro, yeah, Pegro. Hey, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Farmer's market. Prego. There you go. All right, so let me, let's shake this up and let's try this right quick. Just in case, since it's my first time trying it. I like that. We're going to use that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Whole jar, that's right. Okay, well, let's go ahead and stir that up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, and now we've got the garden chunky. Okay, and we're going to add, I won't add all of this one, but it'll be about half the jar, okay, half the jar. And I'm going to turn this down, I have this too high. Let me show you what that looks like. Yum! All right, now we're gonna add our seasonings. Well, after I make a mess. Check on our water. All right, we've got boiling water, so we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. And let's go ahead and add our noodles. And I'm not breaking my noodles right now, this time. Ah! Because we're making baked spaghetti. Now, if I was making regular spaghetti, yes, I would. Because it, uh, I like my noodles smaller. But in baked spaghetti, I want them all together, okay? All right. So let's add our seasonings, and I'm also going to get out the spaghetti. It won't take that long to all of it to get in that pot once those noodles start getting soft. There we go. You can tell I hadn't done regular noodles in a long time. Okay, seasoned salt. And as you see, I measure with my heart. All right, pepper. All 
onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. I don't know if I, I had my other one out because I wasn't sure if I was going to get all that one in. I was going to need more. Now, I did put a little salt and pepper on the meat while it was cooking, but I don't put all of it on there till I'm, till I've got my sauce in. All right. Oh, I wish you could smell that. That smells amazing. All right, let me get a little spoon just to taste test, just to make sure we're not missing. Mmm, that's good. It doesn't need anything else. Okay. All right, I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to get these noodles done, and we'll be back. Okay. All right, we've got our noodles ready. Our sauce is ready. Let's put this together. All right, here we go. First, you're gonna layer some noodles. And be careful, because they're hot and a little sticky. I didn't put enough water in them. But it's okay, it's gonna get some sauce and some cheese. Okay. All right, so we've got some spaghetti down. Now we're gonna add some of our sauce. And we'll do two layers, so you can use about half the sauce on this first layer. And then we'll spread it around a little bit more. And get all those noodles covered. Alright, now let me get some cheese. And I'm going to use some mild cheddar and Monterey Jack. And I've already preheated the oven to 350. That's what you're going to bake this on. We'll go ahead and use all of this on this layer and then we'll put the Monterey Jack on the other one. How about that? That works, doesn't it? All right. Now we're going to go with more noodles. They're really going to stick to that spoon, aren't they? But just a little bit more noodles left, so we're just going to use them all. All right, that's all the noodles. Okay, so spread those around. One more. We'll stick that one there. How about that? <laughs> Now for the rest of this sauce. Let's spread that on here.
All right, here we go, y'all. We're just gonna spread it out of the pot. Don't have that much left, so that's what we're gonna do. How about that? Perfect amount, okay? And let's spread it all around. Get all those noodles covered. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to top with the Monterey Colby cheese. Now, if you noticed in the very beginning, I had a can of mushroom soup, and I put that in this bowl with a half a can of water, and then I stirred it up. That's what this looks like. This goes on the top, okay? So we're just gonna pour a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit. And you're gonna spread this around, and it gives it a, Unique flavor, I should say. Okay. All right, and let's spread it as best we can so we don't disturb everything we just created. Okay. We've got a full dish here, y'all. Okay. All right, and then we're going to top this with some Parmesan cheese. You know, Parmesan. Now, not too much. This stuff's got a little salty taste, right? It can give you a lot of salt taste. There we go, that's perfect, okay? All right, now, gonna pop this in the oven, 350 for 30 minutes. And then we will show you what it looks like when it's done, okay? All right, see you in just a minute when we have a done dish. All right, in the oven we go. I put it on a baking sheet so it's a little easier to pick up when we're getting it back out of the oven, okay? All right, so in the oven, 30 minutes, 350. Be back. Let's get it out of the oven. All right, here it comes. Oh, yummy, check that out. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, I mean, I'm getting ready to dish this up and we're gonna eat it. 